All right, we're really mixing it up this time. Not only do we got a different location here, we also have a new piece of software that we're doing a tutorial on, and that's DaVinci Resolve, and it's free. And I've been using this software since 2013, mostly just for color grading, but now you can do motion graphics and VFX kind of similar to After Effects. So I want to cover a couple of tutorials on this. Let me know in the comments if you want to see some DaVinci Resolve motion graphic tutorials, because you can pretty much do anything in Resolve like you can in After Effects. So I'm learning, but I also want to do a couple of tutorials. So in this video, we're going to talk about several really cool motion graphic techniques right here for DaVinci Resolve. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hope everyone is doing excellent today. You know what we're talking about in this video, so let's jump in, let's get started. All right, here we are in DaVinci Resolve, and don't worry if you've never used this before, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step on how we can create a really cool motion graphic intro or title right here in Resolve. And if you're really big into editing or if you really wanna save time in DaVinci Resolve and other software, I highly suggest taking a look at Envato Elements where you can download unlimited DaVinci Resolve templates. Also, you can download copyright-free music for your videos, other types of templates for Premiere Pro and After Effects, and just so much more. And if you sign up with my link in the description below, you will save 70% off on your very first month. So be sure to check out that link and you'll be able to download over a million assets on whatever project that you're working on. And I also have linked a few individual DaVinci Resolve templates that I really like. So let's go ahead and talk about creating some stuff in Resolve. So the first thing you want to do when you have Resolve open is make sure you click on the edit tab and you'll come here to the media pool. You click on media pool, you right click in here and you click on new fusion composition and you can change duration, clip name and the frame rate. You copy my settings, click on create. Then you bring that Fusion Comp into your timeline, your editing timeline is where you edit your video, and then you click on Fusion. So one thing you'll notice right away is that we'll be using nodes instead of layers like you would in After Effects or Premiere Pro. Nodes are a little bit different, but you can organize them any way that you want. So to start this off, I wanna make it as easy to understand our node layout. So right here, we have the Media Out One node. Kind of think of this as like the final you know, export. Um, but we want to add some elements into here and start building out a really cool graphic. So first things first, let's go ahead and add a background. We can hover over background right here and click. We'll add a background. And what we want to do is bring this to the media out here. So there's a box here. Click on that. Drag a line to the triangle. So now uh, if you click on media out and you hit one or two on your keyboard, you'll see that little pop up on either monitor. And we go come here to the background and we can change our color to whatever color that we would like to use. Click OK. And, you know, there's our background. Now, let's go ahead and start mixing this up with some really cool techniques with, you know, starting out with a title layout. So we'll come here and grab the text tool. Perfect. So as a title node right here, what we want to do is grab our title and bring it right to the background node right here. And you see, we'll have merge one. So let's go ahead and organize this. So first things first, we should have the background right here underneath. And we'll grab our text and put it to the side. All right, so right now we have no text because we need to type something out. So click on the text node and type something out. Okay, so we typed out our title. You can change your font right here to anything that you want. I will be using goth and black. You can change the size of your title. You can also change the color. I'm gonna go ahead and do like a black on this one because I'm gonna put in a background in this and that looks great. And we'll go ahead and talk about the settings in a future tutorial, but I want to build out a really cool graphic easily. All right, so let's go ahead and move into our next technique where we combine shapes with titles. So we'll go ahead and create a background for this. We'll come here and we'll grab the background uh, node right here. We'll add that in there. And we'll bring this right above the text node. And what we'll do is grab the square line here and we'll just bring it right here to merge one, right where you see that. And it'll create another merge two here, bring that merge two right there. So your nodes should look like mine here. So we're kind of building bottom up here. So we'll grab our background two. We can change the color to whatever we want and I'll click okay. Now we have this background here, but I want to scrunch this down on our title. So what we'll do is we'll come here to the rectangle mask. And if you have the background two selected, you come here to rectangle mask and I'll add this rectangle mass node to our background. So one thing you'll notice is that our solid background here is above our title. So to fix this, I'm gonna grab our text one, bring that to merge two there, bring our background two and bring that to merge one. And we can just rearrange these like that. Perfect. So now it's the on the other way around. We'll come here to rectangle one, that mass that we added, and we'll come here to the height and we can bring this down and we can bring out the width by a little bit. So what we'll do is make sure that our playhead, this orange playhead is at the beginning of our timeline. And what we'll do is we'll add a keyframe for width right there's the keyframe icon add that there we'll move forward in time maybe by you know 20 frames and we'll set the width to zero all right so now we have to set up the keyframes correctly so click on the spline graph right here very similar to the keyframe editor check on rectangle one 
click on this fit to all icon right here or zoom to fit and you see the two keyframes. What we'll do is we'll select both of them and we'll hit S on our keyboard and that'll create a very quick, easy, you know, ease sort of curve. Um, and you're welcome to drag out the keyframes to change the speed of the animation. And one thing we need to do is reverse the keyframe. So we'll come here and we'll click on reverse right here. So now the animation will come in like that. And that's awesome. So now for the third technique I want to talk about is using mask or mats to reveal on our title. Really easy to do this. What we'll do is take a rectangle one and we'll just draw a point to text one like that. Boom, our title's revealed on by the title. And that's so easy to do. And it's very clean here in the node graph. All right, so our next step is not really a new technique, but it's to add some additional titles to your current graphic that is very easy to apply. So we can come here and just create a new quick title really fast and type out what we need to say. And we'll come here, draw out a point right to the merge two to media out right there. And I'll go ahead and create a new merge node for us. Bring that right there, perfect. And we'll just go ahead and change down the size and reposition our title and change down the size there. And we'll come here to layout and we can quickly just change the center of our title to right there. All right, so when you're happy with your title, what we can do is now animate this. So to animate this title, what we'll do is come here to layout again and we'll find a good point in time right here in our timeline. So maybe 16 frames and we'll add a keyframe for our center. And we'll move forward in time, maybe by a little bit and bring down the Y to be below our, you know, our background like this. Now what we'll do is go to the spline real quick and, and what we'll do is grab our text like this and we'll hit S on our keyboard. There it is. And we'll make sure to reverse the keyframes if needed. So now we have that coming in and boom, it's coming out like that. Uh, but obviously we want the title to be underneath the background here, which I'll work on in a second because I want to add one more title to this. So to duplicate my title real quick, what I can do is take my current title, copy it, click off it, make sure nothing's selected and paste it in here. And I'll bring this to right here, media out. I'll we'll have another merge like this. And what we'll do is we'll go to that second keyframe right there. We'll come here to layout and we'll bring down our Y position be below the title. All right, so now we have this. Now let's go ahead and hide our titles here. So what we can do is take the rectangle that we currently have, we'll copy it, click nothing and paste it in there. And we'll just go ahead and draw a line to both these two text layers that we have here. Make sure the rectangle is selected and then we'll come here to invert. So now very quickly, you won't see that. However, they're already hanging out right there. So to go ahead and hide this even further, we'll come here to keyframes and we'll see we'll, we can find text one and the duplicated one. And we can just bring, what we do is kind of edit in the endpoints of these titles. So now we'll be able to run this title animation in and our titles reveal on very easily. All right, so for our last technique, I want to spruce this up with some extra shapes here. So we have these little cool line brackets here. We'll show you how to create them very easily and how to animate them. What we're gonna do is make sure we click on merge four and we'll click and we'll come here and add another merge. And now we'll have merge five, very simple. And then what we'll do is we'll come here and grab the polygon icon right here, which is similar to the mass tool. And what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and connect this to merge five like that. And we can zoom in here, hold down control. So we can zoom into our, you know, our work here, hold down shift on keyboard and we can draw out these perfect, you know, lines like this. Then we'll come here to border width and we can increase this to create these lines. And when you're happy with what you have, we can come here, click on this icon for flat. So they're not gonna be rounded. Um, and that's cool. So now let's go ahead and animate this in. All right, so right at this point in time, what we'll do is we'll add a keyframe for length. And right, we can move back a little bit here and set that length down to zero. So now that we have our bracket animation, we, what we do is copy paste it. And what we do is come here and set the X rotation to negative 180 degrees. Beautiful. We can copy and paste it again. And this time we'll set the Y rotation to 180 degrees. And we'll copy and paste it one more time. And we'll set the X rotation back to zero degrees. So now we're gonna have this really cool overall title animation right here in DaVinci Resolve. You can turn on motion blur for all your layers by selecting them and you go to settings and check on motion blur. So now you have a little bit of motion blur to your title animation and that's awesome. And you can easily composite this on top of, you know, footage by coming here to your background layer. You can set the alpha down to zero. Come here to our editing. We can bring this layer up and boom. Now we can put a clip behind our title and work with that however we see fit. All right, so that's how you can put together a really cool graphic animation right here in DaVinci Resolve. So that wraps up our first motion graphics tutorial for DaVinci Resolve. Like I said, please let me know in the comments below if you wanna see more tutorials from me on DaVinci Resolve. It's a really cool piece of software. Uh, definitely took a little bit of a learning gap for me to overcome to use the node graph, but I'm pretty much getting very comfortable with it. Uh, but 
Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post plenty of post-production tutorials every single month right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my Instagram. Uh, we post, you know, post-production tutorials on there as well. And always be creating.